Hi, I'm Zane with Zane Engineers Life. So it's Friday story time, and let's keep going back into the co-op days. So I'm working at the Bay Springs plant, and yep, that's the site of my near death by the King Cobra snake. Check out Friday story episode 10. Well, I've been there a little while, and we've got a few of us in a room, and our desks really aren't too far away, and we're all working on projects. Well, suddenly, one of the engineers says really, really loudly, well, the next person you hear from will be my boss. And he slams down the phone. And then he slides the phone over to me. And yeah, this is the days of the landline. So he slides the phone over to me and he says, hey, I want you to dial this dude. And I'm like, excuse me? Like, oh, so I'm the boss? And he says, yeah. I say, well, okay, I'm always up for a challenge. And so I call the dude, and I'm not having any of it. And by the time I'm done with him, they are going to be flying a guy from Texas to the Florida store on Christmas Day to get this paint machine working so our massive order of paint for several pieces of equipment will all be ready in time. And we're getting 25% off. And he's going to personally call me on Christmas Day and let me know what happens on an hour-by-hour -hour basis. So I finally hang up, and I look at my engineer, and he says, I don't know, man, I think I could have got 30% off. Damn, Laurent, come on, man. Well, maybe a few weeks later, maybe it's into the next month, and not long after that, this argument breaks out. And see, there's this spot in the road between Bay Springs, Mississippi, and Soso, Mississippi. Don't bother looking either of those up. And well, I've recently been taking this curve going down to see my girlfriend. And I come in one day and I claim this curve is a 185 degree turn. And now that's a little bit of an exaggeration. But dude, this turn is super sharp. And I've got an F-150 truck and I drive way too fast everywhere, and I claim that there is no one on this earth that can take a normal car and take this curve at anything over 45 miles an hour. Well, one of the super old engineers, and I mean dude is old. He used to live across the street from God's parents. Like, this dude is super old. Well, he had just bought a new Camaro, and he's like, no way, and I'm like, way. Well, he comes in the next day, and he says, Zane, 64. He goes, yeah. He said, I hit 64. He goes, but you were right. He goes, I drove that curve like three or four times, and I was trying to figure out how to do it. And I went back and forth, and I waited, and I made sure absolutely no one was coming, and there was no traffic. And I got set up, and I hit that curve, and I was determined to prove you wrong. And you know what? I hit 64. But to do so, I started over in the left ditch, and I went up the bank, and I came down the side, and then I burned about three quarters of my new tires away when I hit the asphalt. And then I went into the right ditch and I wiped out the right ditch and I made it around. I just wasn't still on the road, but I hit 64, but I took the whole ditches and almost the barbed wire fences down doing it. This dude was super intense. Well, I tell you that story to tell you this story. So this engineer, he's one of the best mechanical designers that I've ever seen. And the plant we're in, it does the initial sewing of fabric for our main product, which is electric blankets. Now, a little side story, Waynesboro, Mississippi has one of the largest warehouses in the world, at least it was at the time, and they have this plant that feeds it that runs literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week, just to deliver electric blankets during Christmas each year. Well, anyway, these machines, they take like nine or ten different threads and weave them in and out of each other using all these cogs and gears and star links and walking sticks and rack and pinions. And things move so fast that you actually have to have a strobe light 
to see that the thing is running. Well, so this dude has personally designed nearly all of these machines, and he's done all of the drawings, and I've helped him on a few of them, and they're super precise, and the tolerances are really tight. I mean, he's got things down to the ten thousandths of an inch, and that's four decimal places, which is unheard of, incredibly expensive, and super, super precise. Well, I'm helping him one day with a drawing in AutoCAD, and he stops me, and he goes, what, what, what did you just do? And I, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, no, 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 what did you just do? And I'm like, I went, he's like, no, no, back up, start over, what did you just do? He says, I want you to do it again. So I back up a little bit and undo, and I'm adding a line, and I click to the end point of the line. And he's like, stop. He's like, what was that? I'm like, what was what? He's like, you clicked the end point of the line. And I'm like, yeah, I used my O snap on end point on the end of the line to click the end of the line. And he's like, you can do that? I'm like, yeah, end point, midpoint, center of a circle. Well, well, he kind of stops and like staggers back for a second. And, and he sits down in his chair. And I'm thinking, is this old dude about to die on me? Like, what's about to happen here? And he's like, damn. He goes, what could I have done if I had known this? And I'm super confused, dude. He's like, I never knew you could do that. And then it hits me. I remember he's designed these machines that you literally need a strobe like to see. Thousands of moving components and no failures for like decades. Dude's been here forever. And I'm like, well, how do you design all these precise connections? And he said, well, I just zoomed in a lot. Wow. I want you to think about that. Dude was zooming in like four or five times and then just clicking close to the end point of the line. This was literally one of the greatest surgeons of all time operating with a blunt hatchet. And he's still doing open heart surgery with a 100% success rate. I want you to think about that. Okay, so morals of the story for today. Don't be afraid to fill a role. Just do it really well and take it all the way to the end. Someone might even have to work Christmas Day. And no matter how much experience you have, there is always something you can learn to get better. So like and subscribe, post in the comments what you want to hear next from me. I'm Zane with Zane Engineers Life, and we'll make you better.